feel like I've mastered living in the New York City apartment. After being here for eight years, it's all about maximizing every inch of space that you have available to you. And with that, I've been able to transform this tiny New York City apartment into my work from home office, home gym, and YouTube studio. Let's talk about how. So I'm gonna break this up into a three-part video series where I go into each of these main setups, but today I wanna specifically dive into my work from home desk setup. Let's get to it. Now, everything in my home office is ultimately centered around my Jarvis Bamboo desk, which I invested back in 2020 at the start of the pandemic because I knew I needed a desk that could fit all my work from home needs. What I love most about this desk is the fact that it is a standing desk, which is a must have when working from home. Being able to take a break to stretch out my legs is extremely beneficial. I love the darker bamboo style because it fits the aesthetic of my home office and it matches well with this Artifox desk shelf. I honestly don't see myself replacing either of these for years to come. Now, given I spent a good amount of my working time actually sitting at my desk, I am a huge advocate for investing in a high quality desk chair, which brings me to today's sponsor, Herman Miller. Herman Miller is known for its premium and quality desk chairs, and when they reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in trying out their embodied chair, I jumped at the chance. Straight out the box, there's no assembly required, and I immediately noticed that its structure was the perfect balance between modern and premium, and it was designed with the input of more than 30 physicians and PhDs in biomechanics, physical therapy. The embodied chair is extremely customizable. There are so many different knobs and levers at your fingertips, so you can adjust and fine tune your seat to best fit your needs. The seat itself and the back automatically come conform to every ounce of your body's movement, distributing your weight evenly as you sit. This helps to reduce pressure on your body and encourages movement, which ultimately is a large component of maintaining healthy circulation and focus while working at your desk. And look, it is a premium chair, so you do have to think of it as an investment. However, Herman Miller has made it more digestible by offering payment options via a firm, and they also provide a 12-year warranty, which can give you confidence that this will be worth that premium price. So if you're interested in checking out the Embody Chair for yourself, I've included a link in my bio that drives to the specific configuration that I have. Again, big shout out and thank you to Herman Miller for sponsoring this segment of the video. Now moving into the actual command center of the home office, the brand that drives my entire desk setup is my 16 inch MacBook Pro. I have the M1 Max model with one terabyte of storage and 64 gigs of RAM. I love this computer. I invested a ton of money into this thing back in 2021. It's fast and handles everything I throw at it, whether it's editing 4K videos in Final Cut or editing high res photos and light. Lightroom. Now, I will admit, even though I do love the larger screen size, it is pretty big and heavy when traveling, so I am considering of switching to the 14-inch M4 model that will potentially be coming out in the future. The MacBook Pro is then connected to my CalDigit TS4 dock, which is game-changing as it lets me connect to almost every piece of tech on my desk together. It literally has 18 ports from USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, DisplayPort, and there's literally no way my desk setup would be the way that I wanted it to be without it. On the same shelf as the Digit. I also have all of my storage devices, including my portable SSDs and my 16 terabyte Western digital hard drive that I use to back up all of my files and store my current video projects. The CalDigit is also linked to both of my LG monitors, which are 32 and 27 inches. I'm trying out this combo of a vertical and horizontal dual screen setup, and it's been pretty good so far as it works well for editing videos and organizing my windows in a way that fits my workflow. Next to my dual monitor setup is the brand new 11 inch M4 iPad Pro, which is on a simple adjustment stand from Amazon. I'm really excited to try this latest iPad update. I did a massive downsizing of my iPad arsenal, going from having both the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and the iPad mini to just having this 11 inch, mainly due to the fact that it's more portable, but it still maintains that useful functionality as a productivity tablet and content consumption device. I did pair it with the new Apple Pencil Pro, which I am really looking forward to trying out some of the new features. I'm also thinking about making a future video doing a review or something on the M4 iPad Pro so if you'd be interested in watching that, let me know in the comments below. At the base of the iPad stand is a Spigen Qi charger that I use to charge my phone when needed. On the same top shelf, I have my Pebble V3 speakers, which I bought because my MacBook pretty much stays closed the majority of the time, and I definitely needed something that sounded better than my monitor speakers. They plug straight into the back of the CalDigit, and you can adjust the gain on the speaker itself to set a volume that works best for what you're listening to. To be honest with you, I was quite surprised to hear how good the sound was for $35 speakers. Thank you. 
Now, when it comes to the main accessories for my work from home desk setup, I have my trusty keyboard and mouse with the Logitech MX Keys S and the MX Master 3S mouse for Mac. In my opinion, these are just so much better than what Apple sells. And what I really love is the ability to customize both the keys, the different buttons, and the scroll wheels to operate different functions and shortcuts that I already have set up. I also have my Sony WH-1000X Mark Vs, which is the longest name ever, by the way. These have actually become some of my favorite over-the-ear headphones as they have the perfect balance of like comfort, sound quality, noise cancellation that I'm looking for. I mainly use them when I need to be locked in on a big project, working on a YouTube video, or just wanna block out the lovely noises from the streets of Harlem. And right next to my Sony headphones is this mic that you see right here, the Shure MV7, which I use for voiceovers or when my brother and I are recording our podcast, which is called Superhero Brothers. And if you're really into superheroes, I definitely recommend you check it out. We chop it up about all things superhero TV shows, movies, video games, the whole gambit. See what I did there? If you haven't seen X-Men 97, check it out. Now, I also have a few knickknacks that I think deserve an honorable mention. First thing being cord organizers. Now, I know this may seem trivial and not that big of a deal, but effective cable management is essential to having a clean and decent looking desk setup. I bought a cheap pack of cable organizers on Amazon, and the box came with different straps and mounts that allowed me to clean up everything behind my desk. Next is this outlet extender by Anchor, which gives me a few more connection points, like an extra outlet and additional USB ports that I can charge different devices. I also have this Pomodoro timer that I've mentioned in a recent video and on my 30 for 30 Instagram productivity challenge, which helps me to stay focused and prevent distractions when working for longer periods of time. You can also never go wrong having post-it notes around for when those random ideas pop up. And probably one of my favorite items that I have at my desk are these little plant guys that I got off of Amazon. Yes, they are fake succulents, but I have them sprinkled around my office as it helps bring some greenery to my space. Clearly, I need to do a lot better of a job taking care of my actual live plants. This is T'Challa and he's struggling. He might be in his final moments. I just realized that connection with what I just said, damn. Anyway, if you're interested in any of those items, I have linked them in my description box below. And if you wanna see the other New York apartment transformation videos where I've turned this room into a home gym as well as a YouTube studio, you can find those videos right here when they're live. As always, stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype. Woo!